Welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel of course welcome to my channel happy new month it is february i hope you guys are excited for the month of february and are ready to achieve and chase all these amazing goals for the month of february happy mummy monday this is our first mummy monday for the month of february so for today's mummy monday video i'm going to be talking to you guys all things postpartum um pretty much just a one month postpartum update um, if it's your first time to on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn your notification bell on so you can be notified every time I upload. And just in case you're not following me on any of my social media, what are you waiting for? It's right there on the screen. Make sure you add me, follow me, let's become best of friends. With that being said, let's get right into this video. Alright guys, so um, going straight right into it, um, I, can you guys believe I have a whole one month old? Loyal is a month old today and I'm super excited because he's growing and he's getting so cute and he's getting cuter and cuter by the day. Um, my first month as a mom was not easy. There were challenges that I faced and I was so happy and thank God I, I was able to overcome them and thrive through them. So I'm just going to be going in detail with you guys my first month post postpartum for moms or soon to be moms so you guys can know something similar to what to expect so for my first month postpartum i broke it down into about six categories so these are things that either affected me or just i needed to work on or change a habit of so first thing first was sleep um i know when you give birth they always say sleep when the baby sleeps which is not easy because once the baby sleep you're sometimes not tired so you can't really fall asleep with the baby um my first couple of weeks i was like sleeping with loyal he naps i nap he nap i nap and then as the third fourth week it was like nah it's not the same because when he's tired i'm not tired and sometimes at like four or five in the morning i'll breastfeed him and then i can't fall back asleep so it's like okay like the whole sleeping thing is it's it's a hit or miss the whole sleeping thing it's a hit or miss but i'm happy my partner was home through my first month of um, postpartum he was there to support me and help me so sometimes I'll just tell him like hey take care of the baby watch the baby there's bottles in the fridge I'm just gonna go upstairs and just take a power nap and I'll get get time to sleep and spend time to rest um during my first month there were a couple of days I wasn't feeling well I was a little bit under the weather um he was there to support me with that helping me take care of the baby making sure I'm not getting him sick and I'm not getting I'm getting a little bit better so sleep was one thing I really wish um I was able to control through my first month of postpartum I was in control but not as much control as I was while I was pregnant so that was one thing that was a little bit different so sleep is something that would change uh, my second thing for me that changed was my appetite from the moment I went into labor till I delivered I didn't eat I was in labor and I haven't done my labor and delivery story yet which is coming up soon I was in labor for almost 38 hours and for that 38 hours all I had was water and Canada dry I didn't eat so since labor uh, since my delivery till today my appetite has been a little wonky some days I will literally just drink juice juice water juice juice water and not eat anything and then someday I'll probably just have like one meal like maybe like a sandwich or a wrap or a bagel something just light my appetite is up, up and down. Lately, my appetite has been coming back. But one thing I noticed is because I am breastfeeding exclusively, my appetite is just off, okay? Like, I could literally grab loyal. I could have my food in front of me. Like, eating loyal will wake up and start cooing or crying. And the moment I put my breast in his mouth, I lose my appetite and I can't eat. And I, Phantom, I cannot figure out why that is or why that is happening. But it does happen quite a lot and my appetite is just something I can't control I, I do force myself to eat don't get me wrong I'm not starving and I'm not starving my baby because he's eating he's getting enough milk as much milk as he can gulp down but my appetite is just something I'm working on and controlling lately like I did mention I've been trying to eat three meals a day which is making a difference and I'm noticing it because my milk supply is coming in as much as more as I want it to so number three um, because you are pregnant for nine to ten months, you do not bleed, you don't have a menstrual cycle whatsoever. Um, I've literally been bleeding since I gave birth. So I've been using pads. And the one thing I personally don't like sanitary pads just because I don't like sitting in my own pool of blood. I prefer tampons, but 
um i can't wear tampons until i believe six after my six weeks checkup then my doctor will let me know like i'm okay to if i can wear tampons or not or continue like working out having sex and all that good stuff so the whole period thing i don't get cramps through my period and that's why my labor wasn't that bad but just the whole bleeding for like a whole month is it's a lot okay like i'm not used to it it is a lot usually like before i got pregnant my period was usually like two three days and that's it no cramps nothing and it's always the second day that it's so heavy the first and third day it's very light so that's something i had to like adjust to okay like really really adjust to so next would be milk supply in the beginning when i first got home from the hospital i had a routine where i breastfeed pump every two hours breast no pump every three hours breastfeed every two hours so i get an hour between my breastfeed to between my breastfeed and my next pump will be an hour break. And it was good. I was getting at least maybe around like 150 milliliter per pump. And your girl just got tired. Like the first two weeks, I was I was on it. And then after, I just got tired because like waking up in the middle of the night, breastfeeding and then pumping and then going back to bed. And then by the time I fall asleep, he's up and he wants to eat again. I was just getting exhausted. So my milk supply in the beginning was really, really good. And then the third week... I just stopped pumping in general and the moment I did that it was so tiring because I couldn't sleep all I could do was breastfeed nap breastfeed nap breastfeed nap and the third week of having a newborn they go through this growth spurt where they just want to eat loyal I swear I kid you not loyal was eating literally every hour I was getting so mad and frustrated and I'm like why is this baby eating so much and then they're like oh he's going through a growth spurt so he'll be eating quite often and I'm like well this doesn't help because your girl was not pumping so I don't have any milk supply for his dad to feed him so it was just me so my milk supply the third week was a little wonky and then now it's back to normal because i started of course eating again and i started pumping again so i was pumping and now i'm pumping i'm not pumping as much as i was in the beginning but i am pumping at least two to three two to three times a day to try to just have supplies so if i'm doing things like filming and stuff rashin can feed him or let's say i'm taking a nap rashin can feed him so my milk supply was definitely something questionable i did talk to my midwife about it and she recommended a medication for me to take which is called fenogreek i haven't taken it yet because i'm using a home remedy so that was one thing i went through with my postpartum um the fourth thing would be ptsd um, i didn't really go through ptsd which is really weird because a lot a lot of the time when i met with my midwife my midwife would always ask me like how are you feeling today do you feel sad do you feel happy do you feel depressed and i'm not like i'm just like girl i'm good i'm i'm good i'm happy my son's living i'm healthy he's healthy we good um i haven't really gone through like a breakdown yet where i'm like in a corner crying or anything like that um i'm not saying that's everybody go to ptsd differently um, during my pregnancy I did go through PTSD and I felt like my PTSD to my pregnancy I was just always sometimes sad and moody because I didn't go anywhere and the panorama pandemic pandoma Pandora whatever it's going on right now was not helping okay the the whole panoramic was panoramic bruh the whole pandemic was not helping whatsoever so it just made my depression really really worse during my pregnancy and then after the baby came i was perfectly i feel like i'm fine there's like nothing wrong with me i'm not like in a corner moody sad my feelings and my emotions normal to me personally it's normal i don't know about the people around me if they notice a difference but i feel like myself if that makes sense so i didn't really go through ptsd that much through my pregnant to my my first month of postpartum i i don't think i went through it whatsoever last but not least would be self-care self-care okay self-care that is my favorite thing to talk about that i went through my postpartum as y'all can see my nails are did my brows it did i look fine af i'm still able to be myself you know they always say when you become a mom do not forget yourself and i'm trying to keep that momentum going still be able to do things that i like to do like getting my makeup done getting my hair done getting my face beat you know um like today before i filmed i waxed my eyebrows i gave myself a nice little mask i sat down drank some tea did my makeup look cute you know being able to just give myself some self-care and i like to do my self-care on saturday or sunday so self-care saturday or self-care sunday just to feel like myself again if that makes sense um that's one important thing i will always throw in there for while you're pregnant after you're pregnant don't lose yourself um 
make yourself feel beautiful do things that make you happy do things that excite you um just make yourself feel like yourself before you got pregnant feel normal you can still be a mom but be feel like you before you became a mom or before you became pregnant but guys that is it for today's uh one month postpartum update um i don't know everybody's postpartum the first month is a little different if you guys have anything that you went through that you want to share feel free to comment it below in the comment section um for me personally another thing i'm start i can't wait to start doing in my second month of postpartum is working out i need to get my body snatched and back to normal you already know i gotta look cute you know gotta even though there's nowhere to go right now even in the summer i don't even know if it's gonna be a summer but i need to have my body snatched just in case you know you gotta be prepared but guys that is it for today's video i hope you did enjoy today's mommy monday just a quick little sit down and chit chat with you guys um if this is your first time stopping by my channel and checking out my mommy monday i hope you did enjoy today's video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on your notification bell on so you can be notified every time i upload uh, my mommy mondays are literally every single monday so you cannot miss it and just in case you're not following me on any of my social media what are you waiting for it's right there on the screen make sure you add me follow me let's become best of friends with that being said thank you guys always for all the love and all the support this mummy appreciates you and loves you so much and i will see you guys all in my next upload bye